what's up aqua gang what to do honey y'all already know what time it is it's your girl life of pinky and i am back again with another reading for my aquarius gang y'all know i've been trying to squeeze in the collectors videos as well but i felt the need to do a aqua only reading period so let's get into it honey we have to find out what's going on in your love life what's the current energy surrounding aquas in love mirror so you could be mirroring your person at this time or you and this person are mirroring each other and my battery's about to die and it was on the charger all night hold on y'all all right y'all like i was saying you and this person could be mirroring each other similar traits or you two are just i feel like acting the same towards this connection or towards this situation relationship entanglement baby you two could be mirroring each other. So let's go ahead and get on into it. What messages do we have for the Aquarius when it comes to love? There's lightning. And what's crazy is it was just thundering and lightning so bad. I got kicked out of my training class for work. Um, so yeah. <laughs> lightning. Sudden change. Shocking news. Surprise. Epiphany. Upheaval. Transformation. There could be some type of shocking news that's coming in. Um, regarding this connection or some type of sudden change that's going to happen or maybe you've had some type of epiphany maybe when it comes to the passion that you two share in this connection um, with passion at the bottom of the deck there's insane chemistry you two like each other equally having fun I feel like that's where that mirroring energy comes from you two both like each other like the same amount it says sunglasses watching looking stalking gaslighting perception focusing out so if this isn't your person or if you're in separation with this person then this can be this person watching you from a distance or this is like someone in your past that's watching you or this person could have someone like in their energy watching you or vice versa take what resonates leave what does not but we have palm tree at the bottom of the deck stability security permanence growth endurance and flexibility so i feel like someone is looking for like some shade this part, not really shade somebody could be shady but it's given that somebody is like looking for like some shade out of this sunlight like y'all know what i'm trying to say like the palm tree y'all know how the palm trees you know block that sun that's what's given somebody's looking for some type of stability within this connection or or i feel like you're dependent on this connection with the chaser card coming out someone is definitely codependent in this relationship somebody's you know scared of being by themselves or like have a abandonment fear of abandonment issues but then we have love at the bottom of the deck unconditional love self-love oneness passion affection and attraction so this could be you experiencing self-love for yourself or this connection is pushing you towards self-love i just saw the engagement card as well so somebody could be proposing to you or thinking about proposing or that palm tree is giving like somebody wants stability within this connection but there's some type of battle or something that's gonna have to change this could be this sudden change of shocking news maybe somebody's gonna get some type of shocking news maybe this engagement is gonna shock you let's see what's going on with my aquarius in love what's coming towards my aquas in love Pay attention to the red flags going down on top of lightning very soon. So very soon you're going to have to pay attention to these red flags. The signs are cautioning you. Clearly decide what you want now so that it comes to you or clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. So you're going to have to very quickly, very soon decide what it is that you want. I feel like maybe you're in like this back and forth energy where when this person shows up and they have this unconditional love and this passion and this affection and and you know all of this attraction towards this connection i feel like it's gonna throw you off all of a sudden you're not really gonna know if this is what you want anymore so yeah codependency is back out here again we're gonna put that on top of the chaser addictions are affecting your romantic life flirt at the bottom of the deck so there is a codependent energy here whether it's you or whether this person is chasing you or maybe you're chasing like the idea or the thought of this connection i don't know but there's an addiction here that's affecting your romantic life so it could be something internal as well but it says flirt extend your lighthearted energy to others so i'm getting like don't really close yourself off like there's something about this connection that's not really stable it's like questionable and I feel like maybe that's why you're in the energy that you're in. So don't really close yourself off to, you know, just this connection. I feel like maybe that's what the codependency is. Date around, have fun. You feel me? Playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit, your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. And then very soon is back out here again. So you're going to clearly 
decide what you want now so that it comes to you because you're going to have to make that decision very soon and i feel like it's going to throw you off or it's going to catch you off guard and then we also have finances and career financial issues are a factor in your love life right now so this could be with you or your person maybe someone is having issues with their finances or maybe they don't feel like 100 percent stable or that they can offer you this stability right now and at the bottom of the deck, we have calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. So you could be manifesting this person or vice versa. This person could be manifesting you. Something is telling me to pull charms. Something is saying, get some charms out here. So let's see, which signs are we dealing with? We have Gemini. Um, we have the Hamster Hand. We have Sagittarius, could be significant. We have an angel made for an angel. We have an angel. Um, we have a oar. Is this an oar? Like a wheel for the boat. So somebody could be traveling. Something about traveling or something about getting out in water. Because there's a dolphin here as well. So there's something about water. Let's get some more. Let's see. We have Capricorn. Could be significant. We also have an owl. Who? I just heard who. <laughs> we have a heart we have a seahorse so there's something very significant about water and then we have handmade something about a hands or a handmade or maybe you make something with your hands maybe something you do with your hands is going to be very important to this connection let's see let's get some love messages Messages of love for the Aquarius. I just put the deck and we have soulmate and lesson. So you could be learning a lesson from your soulmate at this time. Or maybe this is, maybe there's a lesson that you have to learn before your soulmate um, comes back in. Or if you're already dealing with your soulmate again, there's a lesson here that's needing to be taught or needing to be learned. Alright, messages of love for the Aquarius. Messages of love. What messages do we have for the Aquarius in regards to love? abundance so it says you've done the work abundance flows to you now aquarius you've done the work at the bottom of the deck we have true love so i feel like there's an abundance of true love coming in from this person and it's going to overwhelm you it's going to like completely shock you this love is emotional physical and unconditional and then we have protected under that but then there's still a lesson that has to be learned you are safe and divinely guided but there's a lesson here that's I feel like that you're going to learn, but you're going to learn it very quickly or very soon. Messages of love for the Aquarius. Messages of love. Yep, soulmate. Calling in your soulmate, soulmate. Your soulmate loves, accepts, and respects you. And then we have twin flame at the bottom of the deck. This is a divine counterpart. So this is definitely your twin mate, your twin mate, your soulmate, your twin flame. Um, there's an energy of like an equal give and take here. Um, but there's some work that has to be done. This is still a divine counterpart connection. I feel like the universe is working, you know, behind the scenes to put, to get you two together. But it says retreat time alone, time alone in nature will help you recharge. And then finances are here again. Financial challenges are affecting this connection. So there are some financial challenges or some financial setbacks that's going to throw this connection, um, off or that's, that's putting a, like a wedge between the two of you in the connection i feel like someone is battling with the fact that they're suffering from some type of financial challenge whether this is you or your person finances play a big part right now financial issues are a factor in your love life right now financial challenges are affecting this connection so we're just getting reconfirmations basically y'all so let's see let's get some messages from your person messages from the aquarius person the hidden truth I feel you leaving me behind. Just being near you is intoxicating. So this person can feel like you're leaving them behind or maybe you're moving on or maybe you're not really willing to put forth any effort in this connection anymore and they feel that. It says, I regret lying to you. So this person could be lying to you about something. I feel you even though we are apart, but they feel you. That's that twin flame soulmate mirroring energy. It's like you two are mirroring off of each other. Yeah, we need to let each other go. And that's giving retreat. I feel like you two definitely need to spend some time alone or spend some type of time apart um, 
in order for this connection to grow and yeah there's a lesson here still i'm grateful for the spiritual lesson so there's still a lesson here to be learned i feel like you two definitely um should spend some time apart though <clears throat> In order for this connection to succeed, there is um, a need to have like a, a separation or a break. Let's see. We're going to clarify and then we'll get out of here. All right. Spirit, clarify abundance and I feel you leaving me behind. Clarify abundance and I feel you leaving me behind. Abundance and I feel, I feel like this abundance that you're getting, they're feeling like, yeah, you got options now. So that's why they feel like you're leaving them behind. You have multiple choices or you're leaving them in, in like this confused or this stalemate, indecisive energy. Um, they feel that. They're picking up on that. You could be dealing with a water sign as well. And then we have the Empress at the bottom of the deck. So someone could be birthing new ideas if this isn't a pregnancy or if this isn't someone that's fertile or um, close to a pregnancy then I feel like someone here is like birthing new ideas or coming up with new ideas for this abundance or this is how you're going to achieve this abundance. Clarify the Seven of Cups. Five of Pentacles, yeah. They feel you leaving them behind. They're definitely feeling left out in the cold, lost, and regret. And I feel like you're just, you've gone within. You're meditating. You're not really focused on like the negative. I feel like you took what they gave you and you grew from it and you made other decisions other choices um so you may be in separation with this person now but i feel like you two could reconcile clarify soulmate and i regret lying to you king of swords so you could be dealing with an aquarius or this is just your energy aquarius i feel like they see you as like really calculated, really, really ruthless, really mean. And then this is you. This is your energy, the Empress. This is you coming back out again. Yeah, big energy, big Emperor energy, honey. You're a divine feminine. You're standing in your divine power. This is abundance again, fertility, stability. You could be birthing new ideas. This could be about a business or a, um, a job. Maybe you're getting some type of new job. Something about nurturing. You have a very nurturing energy. But I feel like right now you're coming off as like really mean, really not really mean, but really stern is what it's giving. Clarify the King of Swords. Yeah, not mean, but stern. Like you're not you're not going for this bullshit for anybody playing with your emotions because as the Queen of Cups, you're emotionally, you know, available. You're emotionally tapped in. You're tapped in with your emotions in the world. At the bottom of the deck, things are changing. Cycles are completing. Lessons are being learned. Okay, success is happening. Leveling up is happening. Achievement is happening. You're gaining knowledge for more things. Now you're learning what it is that you want out of a connection or what it is that you want out of this connection. You're very family oriented, very caring. This could be someone having a baby because the Queen of Cups is a mother, mother figure. Clarify retreat and we need to let each other go. Clarify retreat and we need to let each other go. That's too many. I just saw the seven of swords. So there's some lies here, some deception. Definitely with they regret lying to you. Yeah. Seven of Pentacles. Someone is willing to work hard towards rebuilding this though. I feel like they're wanting to invest long term into this. So they're willing to put in the hard work. Um, but there's a need to take a step back in order to enjoy the success or this happiness by yourself, vibing higher by yourself, self-love, learning the truth and learning how to maneuver through the bullshit that you've been handled. Clarify the seven of pentacles. Seven could be very significant here as well. The number seven. Clarify the seven of pentacles. Why is the Seven of Pentacles here? Clarify the Seven of Pentacles. The Hierophant. Yeah, they're willing to work towards this. So maybe you two are going to go see like a spiritual advisor or a spiritual um, counselor. There's some type of spiritual guidance coming from this. Some type of higher education or maybe religion plays a big part, a big role in this. Someone's going to be receiving some type of advice about this 
next step this also speaks to marriage so there could be a marriage or a marriage plays a major part in this connection and then we have the nine of cups at the bottom of the deck someone is you know wanting to be single or this is just your wishes being granted um you know this is good fortune this is abundance this is you know gaining security or just being blessed or gaining blessings at this time with the shadow card there's some success here so let's get final outcome for the aquarius i just saw the empress again what's the outcome what is the outcome for the aquarius in this situation what is the outcome uh -oh. what is the outcome for the aquarius what is the outcome okay the outcome we have the ten of pentacles the hermit and the fool at the bottom of the deck we have the king of pentacles so with the ten of pentacles is definitely given like success family oriented you know being successful together or being a successful family unit a stable family unit happy wife happy life happy house happy spouse all that good stuff but something caused someone here to go into hermit mode whether this is you or your person someone had to go within to really figure out what it is that they want in order to have this new beginning so i feel like there is a new beginning coming in with the fool showing up here and then the king of pentacles but someone is pretty much basically focused on their money focused on their finances or focused on building this successful um, family unit together this could be with you or without you focusing on building your finances before coming together as a unit but yeah that's what i have for you guys thank you so much for watching don't forget to like share comment and subscribe click the notification bell all that good jazz and i will see y'all in the next one kings and queens peace love and light peace out